All right. Hello, hello, Libras. Libras, this is your first uh, message for the month of June. I'm super excited to jump in with this. So um, as you can see, there's lots of sacred geometry, sacred spirit. Uh, I might even actually bring in some angel numbers for yours. Um, maybe four spirits. Hmm. We'll see. So um, also keep in mind, Libras, that there's going to be more than one video. It's for your whole month of June. So we've got the Gemini energy and Cancerian energy. But of course, there was lots of Aries <laughs> coming through and Sagittarian actually. Um, Scorpio, I saw 1111. I got names this time, a lot of names that, uh, so take it how it resonates guys. Also keep in mind, you can check out your rising sign and moon sign for the monthlies for June to get clarification for individual Libras. Okay. So uh, Capricorn as well, Taurus, um, trying to think, so lots of different, uh, I got some, some songs for you, um, Alex, uh, the name Dylan was coming through quite a bit, um, actually even, so Jacob, Dylan, and the Wallflowers is like the first song, um, and it's The Difference, okay, and then I got, uh, Evanescence, actually, and Imaginary, Hmm, let's see. Um, tool and parabola or parabola, parabola. Um, I'm trying to think. There was another one. Um, right where it belongs. Nine Inch Nails. Hmm. Okay. So, um, I also saw 737. Uh, as far as uh, zodiac signs, I saw mainly a lot of um, October energy, like 1001, 1002, 1007, 1008. So Alex, also Kirsten, um, Greg. I'm trying to think of what other names were really spotlighted. There's and Kane, Miles Kane. Miles Kane, actually. So it was like the last shadow puppets. Uh, maybe that's Fireside to Alex. And anyways, um, bring makes me think a little bit of Sagittarian energy too. Hmm. I'm trying to. Okay, I'm letting it just come through. Okay, let's just jump into your monthly and see what we're doing here with this. Okay, I do have tarot and play the angel numbers. And like I said, I was like, mm. so I did a video with Sagittarian, um, or not a video. I haven't done theirs yet. Maybe some of you have that in your chart or dealing with them. But when I do have it uploaded, maybe there's something there for you. But um, I had a personal reading and I opened up some new angel number cards by the Pulp Girls. And I was really impressed and excited. 55, uh -huh. um, 777. So anyways, and I saw like the 1111. No way. So I did see 1111. So also Scorpionic. I saw like 1114, 1115, 1017. 10, 15, 10, 19. Uh, also, David Bowie and Starman. That song. Hey, that's far out. <laughs> uh, makes me also think of so Capricorn, Aquarian, and Taurus energy. Um, anyways, I don't know, so I'm excited to see. I want to see what 737 has because there was something really fascinating with that. Okay. Oh, okay, let's just go. There is, like I said, there's also Cancerian energy and a little tiny bit of Leo. The Virgo message was crazy. At this point, it still hasn't completely processed and uploaded, but I had the weirdest thing happen where it messed up uh, and did like it slowed down my video. So it sounded all. <laughs> and I had to try and mess with it and fix it. Um, it's been having. A heck of a time getting uploaded for some reason. Now pulled in a lot of Aquarian. So yes, there was also Aquarian energy. Um, all right, let's just see. Okay, Libras, I'm excited. Let's jump into these cards. So these are the Sacred Spirit reading cards by Anna Stark and illustrated by Louis Dyer. And I did end up um, incorporating all of them back together. Whoa, living light energy. See the beauty in life. Okay, um, so the I did some pick a cards, pick a deck, so you can also check those out. Um, this was one of the cards that I know was incorporated in one of those. And offhand, I can't think of what the message was there. But maybe uh, maybe you watch that pick a card or you'll be drawn into that. 25, no way. So 2-5, an Aquarian energy. 
Some of you can have Aquarius or Taurus, Leo, Libra. Living light energy, seeing the beauty in life. Wow. Seeing the beauty in life and a secret temptation of being led astray, 31. Ooh, okay, so careful here. I see 731, mm, 74, 31. Okay, look at that. That is very fascinating. A secret temptation. Oh, we also got cream. And there's some Wu Tang too, okay? Gravel pit. And uh, also white room and cream. In the white room with black person. I just throw music out. It's for fun too. Sometimes there is there is a lot of message. Sometimes it gives me the storyline, okay? Yeah, like Virgo's was interesting. Virgo, there was a lot of Tom and Tommy. Uh, so... And if those aren't anybody's names, and sometimes it could be middle names, it could be last names, it could be street names, city names, um, take it how it resonates. It can be people on your life that have passed. It could be people in your life. It could be your name. Um, you know, what's in a name? Spiritual evolution, set your heart three, 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 and let your soul shine, ground your light. Wow. Okay. So. As this is about forgiveness work, I do remember this came through with the Gemini. I see Piscean and maybe Leo with this. Five, six, seven, eight, eight, eighteen. Okay, eight, nine. There is maybe Capricorn, Aries. There was quite a bit of Aries energy, um, like yesterday. It was really actually really beautiful. Some of the music that was coming through, um, grounding your light. I feel like this came through. I'm trying to remember the signs that I've already done at this point, Kay Libras. Um, wow. So we are in Gemini energy, but they did pull this one. Maybe it has to do with siblings, neighbors, someone in your community, or even children, or something about your creativity, romance. 89, 18, maybe Capricorn, because 18, I think that is David, but no, it's 109, right? 107, something like that. Uh, and then 35. So these could also be ages. So those are your first two messages for the month, Libras. And um, because I, I have already seen these ones come through, um, I'm probably because I've kind of ex expressed that, but I, I'm still going to open the book to give clear communication. Look at, so I was seeing a lot of, look at the blue, white, ethereal, and then this grounding with the green. So we, we look into that. Setting your heart free. What's this one? The third eye vision. Vision, reclaiming your mind. Okay, yeah. This is even, this just barely came through too. This could be about if you are, you need to make sure you clear out any negative energies or even getting away from people, uh, you know, and taking some time away from, to cleanse, like look at all the energy. Reclaiming your mind. 36. Wow. Wow. So one, two, three, that's what I got for you, Libras. I'm going to look underneath the deck. Ah, oh, through meditation, improvements require persistence. So that you've got to get in a sense of routine and continue doing it. It's not overnight, right? Hmm, okay. All right, I'm going to set those there. Let's see, so... I have 35. I open it up to channeling your knowledge. The 8s, 824, 825. Okay, so if you do dealing with Virgo, and I saw this too, or you have that in your chart, because you definitely could. Um, eight. So I am got like 825, 826, 827, and 828. But we're starting here with 824, 24, and 25. Blue kyanite is also cleansing of your crystals and stones, the area, the energy. It's the same color of this beautiful, like, light blue. So maybe the blue kyanite, I know I did a crystal, I'll pick a deck with that. But working with that, if you're into crystals and stones. Oh, channeling your knowledge. Wow, so this came through with automatic writing, too. And I brought that up. That came through a little bit with the Leo on their dreams and writing things down. Uh, I'm seeing this with Virgo, Aquarian energy. You also got six, seven, and six, six. Uh, so six, six is the new moon for June. Um, interesting enough. And six twenty-five. This affirmation is my mind is open. 
I receive my soul's guidance loud and clear. So that's what I open it up to, okay? So automatic writing is safe and powerful process of channeling spirit directly into writing. Like any sense or intuitive skill, it can be sharpened and improved with time and practice. More importantly, anyone can learn the skill without the active conscious self. The mind becomes free to instruct and navigate the individual. Automatic writing enables the channel to access higher states of consciousness and awareness. Invo innovation and creation is a byproduct of channeling in this way. Leonardo da Vinci. Okay, that was brought up before. Leonardo da Vinci, Isaac Newton, and Albert Einstein were consistently inspired by the form of thought and pen to paper. And when I, with, since I opened that with that, um, eight, 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 nine, that's interesting too. Um, and like I said, this came through with the, in that Gemini energy even. So you could also watch some of their messages because um, if you have that interlinking connection or you, you're curious. So cross watchers also welcome with all of these um, messages. So you have to take it and do the discernment as well of what is uh, for you and leave what isn't for you. Like if none of these signs, zodiac signs, time, states, anything has any meaning, then that part isn't for you, right? Um, very interesting. So what I'm saying is actually, because this is, I know about forgiveness, uh, releasing burden, spiritual evolution, setting your heart free, um, and seeing the higher perspective. This is also connecting to, you know, this is so crazy because this ethereal blue color that is like even grounding and going through the the spine and the chakras, the nervous system, and then coming out of the mouth even. <laughs> That's very, um, you could be writing that down. That's like that. So I, I know as part of my working through forgiveness, self and others, and when you get the negative <laughs> emotions of bitterness, hatred, anger, you know, whatever, um, sadness, hurt, um, that you, that feels heavy on your, on your psyche, on your emotions that you want to let go and release. You can just do that automatic writing it down, write it down or speak it out. You know, I feel like this is a personal thing too. You know, sometimes maybe even doing it in the shower, um, just speaking out, I forgive you this person or whoever comes to your mind or for yourself or, you know what I mean? What's coming out. And that's the whole thing of just letting it flow, writing it, getting it out. Um, we also got see ya and never give up. Okay. Um, ignoring your own advice is a shadow aspect and an inability to be objective. Wow. Seeking even a suitable teacher. If you're just beginning to open yourself to intuitive and spiritual communication, automatic writing can act as a bridge to strengthen your mind and intuitive channel. Before undertaking such a skill, you are encouraged to keep a clear and a sacred space free of lower thought forms and energies that may cling or seek to enter an open channel door, even seek a suitable teacher. Um, I also enjoy listening to certain music during it or just being outside with the birds or water running or, you know what I mean? Whatever feels kind of soothing. So I I actually was listening to the Laramar Sound Alchemy Um there was overcoming. Uh, I'm just going to tell you the particular uh, opening the portal, overcoming, connecting with ancestors. So there's also that. And it was actually really beautiful to me because I was drawn into this. It has a beautiful purple uh, lilac. So amethyst stuff. But the song um, and it was like Gemini energy with that because it was released on 522. Um which I've already shared before, it was is important to me. It's my mother's birthday. And I was like, wow. And so I, I've spoke a lot about that, Libras. Um, even though we're in June, we've got the Gemini energy. I have a lot of Gemini in my my family's. Uh, <laughs> um, but more of them are May. Anyways, I do have some cousins and stuff. Um, so, and Gemini falls in my ninth house. So it is... Uh, higher education, learning, uh, Sagittarian, Jupiter, about wisdom, information, hmm. college level stuff too, you know, or advanced learning, intermediate, 
um, even talking about these things of not just a worldly affairs, but also looking into other cultures um, and their their food, the travel. Um, but when I look at my birth chart with that in particular, because I have also Libra rising and sun, um, that the Sagittarian energy, which is about around my community, which is the opposite, right? So everything in my chart is like flipped um, when I'm looking at these things. So in with my neighbors and in my community, I'm, I'm more, um, I talk deeper. I'm not just like, what's for dinner? <laughs> and how's the weather? Or what do you want to do? Yeah. Anyways, and I have a lot of Sagittarian energy was coming through a lot of, and Gemini too. So um, just letting y'all know that. All right, peace of mind here. Currently, soul guidance is required. You're being asked to connect to the higher wisdom of your soul. Removing ego-based barriers such as expectations, internal ridicule, fear, and control are necessary for clarity and peace of mind. Feelings of being physically, mentally, or energetically blocked or stuck in areas of your life such as employment and relationship requires action. But you must be ready to let go of your expectations Creating a peaceful environment to free your mind is essential now. Allowing your pen or pencil to wander on a sketch pad. Forming a doodle or symbols or painting or musical creation will assist in writing issues such as writer's block. Wow. With relaxed breath, let your thoughts inspire you to create or record new information as your inner thoughts and spiritual messages are conveyed to you to record in written word. Working with high vibrations or elevated energy levels will improve this communication and length of spiritual discussion. All right, 35. Forgiveness and compassion is needed now. Set your heart free. 7, 8, and 7, 9. Ah, the Tibetan courts. Okay. Expansion goes together with spiritual evolution. Without the process of expansion, one cannot evolve spiritually. Expanding the heart and mind allows you to live a more well wholesome and loving life with compassion, tolerance, and acceptance. There is no denying. I also got 815 again. So 815 and 816, 78, Cancerian. Um, these, these can also be, take it how it resonates, 35 could be ages, 78, 79, uh, ages even, or birth, uh, birth years, um, shadow aspect of this is stagnation, though, condemnation and repetition, Samuel, ah, guardian angel Samuel, health, energy, vitality, healing from trauma, as my love and experience grows, the consciousness of my spirit evolves, oh, and there's like the caterpillar here. Learning through all life's experiences, good and bad alike, encourages soul growth on a positive level. Like a caterpillar to butterfly, individuals must go through their own transformations if they wish to excel, achieve, or move forward in life. Seeking something better in the future requires a little faith in yourself. You can't always have everything straight away. Long-lasting success takes time to build. Evolving the spirit requires an individual to empty their spiritual backpack. Taking out and removing experiences that are holding you back in life. Healing past issues. Addressing karmic imbalances and creating a balanced mind and body are all parts of this process. Evolving the spirit takes time. It is a gradual process in which you need to do the work on yourself to achieve long-lasting effects. And right now forgiveness is required if you wish to move forward in life. Sometimes you must accept an apology you know may never receive. Oh. Hmm. I actually saw a lot of Libra Aries people that seem to have, well, and dealt with, uh, you know, the whole narcissistic thing. Or, you know, I feel like, I know this is weird, but I feel like there was a weird fad thing about it was all going around. Every time there was a relationship you know, and, and the red flags and signs of it. But I just noticed this is going. And this is a sense of accepting things like that. Because there's a love bombing. There's a desire. You know, there's a. It's an emotional manipulation. And um, there's hoping for understanding and forgiveness. of someone having that. And it's hard to understand. Because it's not the way 
you know, um, do unto others as you have done unto yourself, too. Um, anyways. Hmm. So where I see that is where it's, in, it's sometimes trying to accept an apology you know you may never receive. Forgiveness will set your heart free. You know, and sometimes it's that they're not even willing to listen to how they may have caused some type of pain or hurt or even acknowledge that they did anything. And that's where the writing it out um, or anything, even if you're grieving certain things, even things. I, I've I've done that before where you just like, you got to let it flow. And if you need to, then go burn it. If you want to keep it as part of your life story, that's it. I think that's why people often write biographies and life stories and, and things like that. It is part of actually healing or therapy. So, I mean, when you look at a lot of people who've went through some really heinous stuff in their family or their lives, um, and you see it in the news, and there ends up being a book from all the relatives and different people and how it affected that, you know, and what they, I, so, and people are curious to read it or whatever, but I think that there was a time where I was like, you're trying to just profit off of, you know, this horrible thing. But I was like, no, I think this is, is actually part of the therapeutic healing of processing it. Um, and even sharing the story. So, hmm. Open your heart to your soul's calling. Your soul's calling you to be free. Hmm. Forgiveness will set your heart free from an invisible control that has been existing over this situation. Forgiveness does not mean you will forget that this has occurred. It means that you can live without it controlling your life any longer. Remove any past emotional and physical ties that are no longer serving you in the here and now with love and gratitude. For that has brought you to this point in life where you are ready to change and let go of the past. Open your heart to your soul's calling. Your soul is calling you to be free. Hmm. All right. <coughs> and maybe that's in the very beginning, right? <coughs> I feel like there hasn't been this communication because I just, you know, that cough. Um, and even releasing it. Sometimes doing it, there's some spiritual work. There is... Uh, I'm not actual stuff that you know you cough it up you gotta get it out you cry you get boogery even you know I'm all you cry you get boogery you're releasing things hmm trauma all right ground your light is next and let your soul shine 18 leading the way I think that this one I'm trying to remember which one this one came through. It might have been the Cancerian. Um, doesn't matter at this point. Um, I'm seeing maybe Capricorn. Maybe, and this could also represent Moon or Rising Science. I mean, you could have a lot of Gemini or Piscean, Leos. I see Capricorn Moon, Scorpio Moon, potentially maybe Sagittarian. Um, interesting enough. So in this particular reading, I really don't see very, I see a nine, nine now. Okay. We're getting Virgo. Okay. Wow. 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 Gemini Pisces. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Shine your light on the world and let your soul shine. 44 Aries. 45 Wow, and we've got a lot of Virgos, so maybe Virgo moods, are you dealing with Virgos? And this is even releasing and letting it go, but then we've even got the 8889. Eight, eight, We're going in flow. 9899 nine. again. Wow, okay. Red Jasper is your sacred crystal. A shadow aspect of this is shyness, a being a people pleaser and self-sacrificing. Angel assistance is but uh, Archangel Sanda Lafon. Sanda Lafon. Energetic grounding and being in the present. I anchor and ground my divine light in my heart. I am free. So some of you could even have Aries or a Cancerian moon too, or a vice versa. Libra could just be in your chart. You could be dealing with them. Um and that Virgo energy. The method of grounding our energy bodies, auric fields, and consciousness is to solidify our being in the present. 
Through the grounding process, our emotional, physical, and spiritual bodies become unified, bringing balance and well-being to our soul and spirit. While this practice can be challenging, it's important for you to remember you are influenced energetically by your environment. Grounding anchors your energetic field and connects you to your emotional body while being present and mindful within those moments. Strengthening your aura and emotional physical body is the primary goal of mindfulness as we feel everything that we experience through this energetic space. You're doing yourself a disservice if you refuse to honor your own shining light. Embrace the inner spark that sets you apart from everyone else. Claim and accept who you are as an individual so you can thrive in life. Embrace yourself with this new confidence. Currently, you may be feeling sluggish, unmotivated, and energetically flat. Your energy is distributed across different areas of interest, and therefore it makes you weaker. Ah, so it's scattered, right? Uh, pay close attention to how your body reacts around certain people, places, and situations. It is up to you to develop healthy personal and physical boundaries. Right now, you need to ground your own light and come back to your heart space and center yourself in the present moment. Make yourself consciously aware of your breathing. Is it slow? Is it fast? Is it intermittent? Integrate your physical space, your physical body, with positive charge by grounding your new and current experiences with breath work. Bringing in new light energy through your crown and anchoring your sacred self through your earth chakras will assist the grounding process. More importantly, never give power to anyone to dim your light. You're a lighthouse and deserve to shine your light across the night. The affirmation is, I anchor and ground my divine light in my heart. I am free. Wow. So once setting your heart free, this is like the process. I know it's like, it sounds all beautiful. So how do you set your heart free? You do this forgiveness work, even automatic writing it. Do Trust your intuition. This is your own person. You see, this is personal level stuff. It's a single person, but there is spirit. You're not alone. Higher self, you know, the energies. Um, and then grounding. So opening it up, clearing it out, the heaviness. And then bringing back into that positivity of how beautiful the world is. So the song, Parabola too, is like, this. Is, you need to listen to this song. Um this is fascinating, guys, and I want to bring this up because I'm seeing this even. I'm bringing this up during the Cancerian energy. So once we shift into the end of June, so depending on when you do the, this video, they might be uploaded. But for Cancer season, I do. So I'm doing birthday messages for like all the signs as we get in there and opening a new thing, something new, right? That's what birthday is about too, getting a gift, a present, some surprise. Um, even that... Okay, element of surprise, the last shadow puppets. That, okay, that song there. Um, but I'm looking at this card and I'm seeing the sacred mirrors, and we've got a lot about sacred being what's sacred, taking the sacred time, and I'm, you know what I mean. So I'm kind of excited because this one pulling in. Um, so look forward to that, and maybe I'll do some pick a cards with that as well, and um. Once we shift into that, so for July's energy, maybe it is your reading for July is really interconnected once you get this grounding. And maybe it's for specific people. I mean, I got Kirsten and Greg. What else? The Dylan. Uh, you know what I mean? Like uh, so many different names are kind of popping through. It was interesting. All right. The third eye of vision. So that's what it's saying. So you, you free it and then you, you let your soul shine. Put up physical boundaries to keep yourself feeling in, you know, happy, positive energy and clearing it out. The world is full of negative bullshit. So even the song Imaginary by Evanescence, this is this Amy Lee. Uh, that song makes me think of that. Like, <laughs> okay. 36, my paper flowers, 36 is clearing this third eye vision and reclaiming your mind. So we're clearing your heart and mind, connecting the heart and the mind. Hmm. Okay, living light energy was the first one. Spending time in nature, yeah, seeing the beauty in life. Okay, here we've got the Taurus energy coming in and Aquarian, very beautiful. Okay, I did see 59 and 509, 58. 
So I open it up with this, the divine light. Like, oh my gosh. So lately, guys, which is so cool with all of my art, I have tr started trying doing trees, okay? Um, with the pour paint. And this is something different. And I'm I'm being really inspired by these artists as well. Um, to try something. Oh, uh, wow. The beauty in life. Um understanding that everything is energy the air we breathe the elements emotions sounds animals people our thoughts all of this is energy living light energy is positively charged and full of physical life radiating its permanence throughout the universe cosmic and earthly energy is all living light energy as it stems from the celestial light source all of creation the cosmic big bang 413 I'm getting or uh 515 something like that so some of you could have Taurus in your chart um per, or Aquarian energy too or dealing with them these could be ages as well 25 58 59 um a shadow aspect is hatred of this dissonance and exhaustion the sacred crystal to work with is celestite Okay, that is so beautiful because Celestite is this beautiful grayish blue ethereal, uh, like a geode, you know, like like a blue, a light gray blue amethyst, aerial. Oh my, angel assistance. Wow, so some of you there is like a grandfather, uh, which is interesting. This is different from Uriel. Okay, okay. A water sign or even a Capricorn or I mean um not a Capricorn well yeah it could be but a water sign could be Aquarian energy too seven I'm seeing 713 714 hmm all right here we go <laughs> the big bang it's remnants make up the wonderful and beautiful collective of living light energy it is pure energy that vibrates as its original blueprint hmm while energy is transformed, transmuted, and recycled across time, its living light energy hums in synchronicity with the universal planning. All energy pulses its divine signature with plants and animals also resonating with living light energy. The very state of their being, biologically unaltered, is an open receptacle to living light energy with creation in all forms stemming from its divine beauty. Opening yourself to receive living light energy requires only an open heart that wishes to be balanced and harmonized with universal flow. And the divine source of all that is whole and complete, this energy now awaits you to integrate and unify your heart into an all-love energy. Currently, you may have discovered or reignited a passion for crystals, okay? Okay, for crystals and gemstones. I'm all, okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Actually, I think... I don't have a piece of celestite. I'm like, oh my gosh, I have all these crystals. But I don't have celestite. Oh. oh, and the Taurus in me is like, mm -hmm, we need a celestite. <laughs> and the the pretty sparkly, yeah, all Venus, all Venus. Uh, my yeah, I am like a stellium in Libra, guys, and I always tell you that so. <laughs> uh, Taurus moon. And my Mercury. Actually, my node is in Virgo, though. My, my North node. Also have Jupiter and Saturn. Pretty conjuncted with all of that. Um, Mercury is zero degrees Scorpio. So, I think that's why I talk about these things. And sometimes, hmm, it, it, I like studying that, too, about... Um, it, it was always fascinating. It doesn't mean that everything, there's different potentials. It depends on your environment and um, what type of life journey you've had too and how those aspects will be affected. Um, hmm. To me, usually Libra is, you know, they're the peacekeepers. The fight or flight, they wanna, they're going to walk away. Whereas the Mars energy, the Aries and the Scorpio, you know, they want to fight instead of, but it can be reversed where as Libra is taking on this or Mars is activated and I mean, think of Eminem and stuff. 
Well, Eminem's Lee Red and Snoop Dogg, but still they're like, eh. I don't know. They're not as big. I don't know. Eminem, he fights with the words, right? <laughs> That's what I think air signs do more than anything. So also Gemini and Aquarian energy. Okay. Let's see. I love this though, the gemstones. So even currently rediscovered or discovered, reignited a passion for even water gardens. Hearing like the water. Ooh, like the fountains. Walking or hiking in nature and gardening. These beautiful energies are encouraging you to connect with living light energy to open your heart to natural beauty and the breath of life. Right now, see the beauty in life. The simplicity of nature and its divine elegance will encourage you to reset your mind in the present moment. All energy is recycled. Know that now you are changing your attitude in life. Soon to emerge from deep slumber of transformation, surround yourself with living energy such as plants, crystals, or minerals to support your light body through this powerful transition. The affirmation here. Five, nine, I integrate living light energy within my heart, mind, and soul. I am one. All right. Now we're going to the third eye vision and reclaiming your mind. I see sacred divinity, honoring your divinity. There are two paths ahead. Soul fragments, balance will be restored, reclaiming your inner power. 33, more dealing with... Um, Cancerian energy 7475 or if there's Gemini and Pisces with this as well something like 611 612 yeah so I'm pulling in a lot of like this is interesting I open it up I'm seeing balance will be restored these colors and, and spirit messages the spiritual evolution so we start with 35 and in the middle where it's getting grounded in the middle of the month right even maybe at that shift on the 18th being spotlighted, right? And then, or the 8th or the 9th, right? And so then we've got the shift into uh, Cancerian energy is the third eye vision, liberating your vulnerability and reclaiming your mind. 80, 9, 8, and 9, 9. Whoa, more of the 9, 9s. So this is a Virgo energy, uh, potentially, or it is about releasing and letting go of things. Um... Iolite, sacred crystal, is the Iolite. And this one is a light lavender color. It is maybe a dream stone type of thing as well. Um, 80 and 81. Jeremiel, opening the third eye vision, prophecy, affirmation. I see clearly and accurately through my mind's eye. We will see if I bring up uh, the raven and Wardrana. Because that was also there. Interesting enough, the blue that I'm seeing with this is also like the Laramar star stone. It's very blue, even maybe blue Chalcedonia. The third eye chakra is located along the brow line. With its access point between the eyes, every individual has a third eye, but not all choose to open it. In ancient times and across different cultures, the third eye was an asset. The ancient Egyptians, Greeks, and Hindus all viewed the third eye and pineal gland as a gateway to the heavens, explaining consciousness and higher wisdom known in the Sanskrit as Anja, Ajna, A-J-N-A. -A. It means, its meaning is command and perceiving. This multidimensional door allows individuals glimpses into different realms, as well as remote viewing, distant healing, visionary experiences, and energetic practices. Using third eye vision requires careful practice. Psychic debris, energetic distortions, and imbalanced frequencies can stick to the third eye chakra and to an individual's aura and energy bodies. This can leave you with emotional disturbances, insomnia, or nightmares, a negative outlook on life, or mysterious physical aches, pains, or illnesses. Currently, you may be feeling forgetful, moody, and extremely sensitive to smells, lights, and tastes. Visual stimulation is overpowering. Now it's time to reclaim your mind. Satisfy your needs first instead of people pleasing. <laughs> I feel like that's like a lever thing. They're indecisive and they're just trying, they're pe they people please and no, 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 everyone, everyone to like them. 
I think there's a lot, a lot of people are like that. Leo's like that. Scorpio's like that. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sure Gemini too. Everybody, but we all. Aries. Hmm. Satisfy your needs first instead of people pleasing. Right now, feelings of vulnerability will rise to the surface. Fear or self-exposure and judgment will influence your current relationships. Try to avoid crowds and busy places as collective mental energy will influence your state of mind. Continually trying to protect yourself from harsh criticism and personal judgments will keep you in defensive mindset and influence your decision making. Intuitively, don't rush into third eye experience. Take it slow and seek a suitable teacher to avoid spiritual risks. If you wish to intensify or gain third eye visions more regularly, activate and decalcify your pineal gland through visualized meditation. Hmm. All right. Those are your messages from Sacred Spirit Reading Cards for June. Okay, Libras. All right. Here we go. Here we go. 4103. Oh, my gosh. This is so long. <laughs> already 41 since i have tarot here right here already i'm gonna jump into tarot you guys get it in the first video whoa okay let's look under there oh the phoenix but it's in reverse so the phoenix rising someone this is a transformation this is burning through like being rebirthed the phoenix maybe phoenix is important for you nine of swords oh okay so anxiety sleepless nights going through these things nightmares this is a recognition of these type of things. There's anxiety and fear. Maybe something coming in your dreams. The Nine of Swords, you or them, okay? Um, something maybe even about Phoenix or Rebirth. The Nines, again, seeing the Nines, very interesting. Okay, I'm going to give it a shuffle. And we will see. Hmm. So you watching this real late at night, huh? Is it three in the morning? Is it two, two, two? Is it three, three, three? <laughs> no, it's eight, eighteen. I'm just, I'm being goofy now. All right. So what do we got for the Libras for June? What's the first message for it? especially this first week? Let's start with the first week of June. Okay, I am going by the sacred geometry for the visionary path, something new being birth, and even spiritual protection, working with labradite. Seven of Pentacles. There's a pause. This is how this work. Whoa, 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 whoa. I want to grab this. Gentle spirits. Okay. Working with gentle spirits. Seven, seven. Holy crap. Okay. Seven, eight, eight, seven. So look at this. So this is pausing and waiting for the, there was a time of already putting in a lot of work doing this work. And now there is a moment it said, like, you can't move forward until you've done this. How weird is this? Like, this is so distant. Like, this is being off this earth or something and looking out and seeing. And this is the close up of it. That's fascinating. Seven, eight and seven, seven, 34. Gentle spirits. And look how that flows with this. These are by Francine Hart. We've got the sea turtle. Going with the flow, there's stars here. One, two, three, four, five. Five turtles. Seven, eighteen, seven, nine, and thirty-four. Wow. Okay, because it fell over there. So um when I get to that and we'll read the book, we'll see if that comes through. I feel like it it goes with this, even grounding your light. This is about patience. This is like you this is a non-action. <laughs> And doing this emotional stuff. Um, but it is about work. Like you've already. So there's a time of waiting now for what you've planted. You know the seed you've planted. Um, the work you've already done. You've done a lot of work. That's what it say. Already. High priestess in reverse though. So, mm, okay. So someone is being patient. Uh, waiting. Someone isn't trusting their intuition. I don't usually like seeing high priestess in reverse ever. This is someone not doing, not trusting your information or their intuition. This is someone sharing other person's personal information. 7227, 218, 718. Hmm. All right, we'll see if that comes through. 
Mm, maybe this is what, okay, this could be what this forgiveness stuff is about, is that maybe there was a time of, so high priestess, someone can act very spiritual, very loving, could be Piscean energy, doesn't have to be, um, and that they actually were gossiping and sharing someone else's personal information about, you know, I see this as a counselor or something even where um, you trusted them. You are them. So this could be, that's what I'm kind of seeing is maybe this forgiveness work is about. Um, and it was about maybe it has to do with your own work. Um, your your challenges you've been through, your investments. But this could have to do with people sharing information about your investment. Um, there's someone not trusting some red flag or something. Or, or that they, I, I just see it as someone gossiped. So we had a lot of that Gemini energy, also maybe Leo, Scorpio, Cancerian, Pisces. Um, you could have that on your chart or that's giving clarification. They, they shared someone else's personal information. You know what I mean? Like a, you go to a counselor and you're sharing things about your struggles or things you've been through or with your relationships. And, they're, and, and it's also not sharing truth or facts. It's... It's turned it into gossip and slander. It actually, so now, ironically, every time I see that. So I'm going to give the example of Jody Hildebrandt or someone that they were sent to. Uh, the bishop sends them over. The LDS bishop sends them over to Jody Hildebrandt, who's now in uh, jail for child abuse with Ruby Frankie. Um, if you're unfamiliar with that one, then, you know, look it up or... They're already, they pled guilty, so there was no trial, so it didn't get a big, huge scene. Um, but they were like, you know, going through marital issues or uh, disciplining children, uh, things, you know, with the, the dirty things in the world, uh, corn, pornography, <laughs> played it like that. <sighs> Oh god. Or you know what I mean? Like um infidelity hurts, all of the darky gross things that we see happen and uh it happens in church things, church settings too, abuse. It usually has to do with sexual deviance that causes some type of uh harm, right? Yeah. So um but I'm seeing them sharing the personal information with others. And it could do even about, you know, if a, a bank or a lawyer, a, a, a counselor, that it's supposed to be held in confidence. And this is someone who, okay, that's what I got for that. Okay. And yeah, ace of cups in reverse, high priestess in reverse. Ooh, ooh. That is like, someone's not trusting or doing this. There's no love there. They, this is a two-faced person or this is about needing to do self-love not feeling love I'm seeing it both as it, this is feminine for sure this is another feminine which is interesting if I look at both it, so look at these two cards this person has long hair and this actually might be a masculine here and, and here and then they've got the this is so fascinating to me that this one card here Hmm. Set your heart free because underneath it, we I see that there is this someone isn't doing the self love work or not trusting that there is no love. It's empty. These cups are empty because there is gossip or the, someone's not trusting that there isn't uh, love with this. Huh? Okay. Seven eighteen. Seven nine. Hmm. All right, I'm going to go to the second uh, week, all right, of June for you. That's really interesting. Huh. The second week of June for the Libras. Okay, we got a few cards here. Judgment, layers your card even. Judgment call, 720. This is having an awake up, an awakening, even getting a second chance. This final judgment on this person. So being patient doing this this work and knowing and trusting that it will pay off and then we got judgment coming in on the 20th maybe it happens on the 20th maybe it moves forward and this doesn't happen 
Oh, this is like right as we shift into maybe Leo energy even, right? Ground of your light. 2018, something from 2018 potentially. Hmm. Okay, here's the other ones. Three of Pentacles and four of Wands. Damn, these are good. Okay. Okay. These are all, I'm taking them all upright and I'm going to keep it there. So, hmm, the second, the second week or so, and we could actually, cause I got all four. So we might move this through for your whole month. Just do a four card reading. I will get clarification for uh, Libras and then we're going to go to the sacred geometry. So three of pentacles is about your creativity, your work, right? This is working with others and collabing even on a project in your home teamwork makes dream work so this could be even just working on your your home building a home making a home feel like a home beautifying it um doing the chores cleaning up three four you got 34 again no way oh so there might be a lot of piscean energy could be cancerian as well that you're working with maybe there's virgo hmm Reclaiming your mind. Maybe you need to, there is a sense of um, doing this creative work at home, wanting to work at home or working on homes. This is a beautiful home. Look at that. Oh, I want to look at this three of pentacles a little deeper. There is three of them working their magic. You know what I mean? Like, so if you have people around the house, it's like breaking up all the things. So let's just do the basics. Okay, Libras, we all got to clean a house, clean house. Dirt, garbage, dishes, trash, vacuum, dust, set up decorations, flowers, make it smell nice, candles, da, 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 mopping, but this is splitting it up. This could even be like building a house where you're not going to go in there and do all your stuff. You're going to work with other, you got to work with the people who do the floor and the roof and the tile and the paint and the flowers, the garden, the landscaping, but look. It's like they're creating something beautiful and it could just be in your home doing working your work from home and creating something very beautiful. These are good. So there's just a sense of patience doing this, maybe even trying that automatic writing, seeing the things that are beautiful, getting your sh shining your light even about your own creations. This is feeling hopeful too. Judgment is Judgment is making that final judgment call on some type of, you know, forgiveness stuff and and even getting a second chance, feeling like, re, you know what I mean? Like you lighten this heavy load because there's this huge distance and then you're moving closer and closer to it. This light shining, right? There's angels here. Because you, when you're alone and you're doing this, man, sometimes that's when you can connect with spirit, ancestors, higher self, angels, and you feel it when you, and they'll help you to get grounded in the present on what you want to collaborate and work on and getting even your own vision, reclaiming your mind. Sometimes having a cluttery, messed up house can create, this is beautiful. This is stability. I'm going to keep that for you. This is a good tarot message. <laughs> okay. Okay. We got the tower in reverse. So this is when I see that it is that someone seeing some signs uh, listening to because tower to me comes in when, when uh, chances have been gone and there is hidden things, faulty things. People were being sneaky, deceptive, um, and the tower is going to crumble and break because they're not, you know, something has to change because it's not built on a solid foundation. And reverse is recognizing that and taking the action to, um, you know, fix the things that need to be fixed. Uh, wow. Six of cups in reverse. Okay, so I can see potentially... And I'm going to pull in a little Scorpio energy with this. But we also got 15, 6, 15. So maybe Gemini. The moon. Wow. Okay. So some of you could have a Scorpio moon. Uh, or there's these heavy emotions. Maybe you've kept it 
inside. The full moon is going to be in Capricorn energy. Moon represents also the Cancerian and Pisces, our emotions. Um, I feel like there could have been some really bad, and it could have actually done with your own mother, okay, or how you mothered. Um, trying to keep the peace or something. Six of Cups in reverse show me there is some bad memories from the past, from even childhood. Uh, some things that need to be healed or let go of. King of Pentacles is upright. Being wise, not wanting to be foolish. So you mess with, I'm all, so you mess with a Taurus Capricorn of Virgo, hey? I'm just kidding. Uh, uh, he's upright. And you can have this in your chart too if you feel this way, Libras, right? And um, creating and manifesting beautiful things, wealth, this beautiful house. Um the crystals, the cards, the art, these are physical things. Um, and not being foolish. So it could be some Aries Taurus. But I do see them. Um, could be Virgo or Capricorn masculine as well. Not jumping into something new. Uh, there's a little Sagittarius and Aries with that. I feel like uh, there, there might be a little bit of feeling unbalanced. And someone might be overdoing something and feeling weak. Strength is in reverse. You got all the, the fire signs under here. Okay. I'm just going to let this flow. So taking, pausing and doing this, you can't move forward until you do this. Okay. Maybe this is even keeping things. Maybe this judgment comes out at the moon cycle, even six of cups. So maybe there was a time. This is someone even helping you do this work. This is maybe even processing things from childhood. There could be some past life trauma, even, um, collaborating on how to fix things and clear the uh your head king of pentacles upright okay we got the full in reverse and we got temperance and strength okay uh the fool is not wanting to so i'm this is not in this beginning it, there is not action time there is this writing maybe sitting doing uh patience on all of the work you've done not jumping into something, not being foolish, trying to trust your intuition as well. To have a, about an awakening, getting grounded. I'm seeing temperance in reverse. So someone was maybe overdoing things. Um, maybe they weren't feeling very strong. They this could have to do with a Leo or a child, a Sagittarian energy from uh, the past. Even six of cups in reverse, feeling this is can be daunting. Maybe there was someone really. Um, they were weakened. The weakened. Six, eight, eight, six. Okay. And then we have two of swords, which leaves a decision to be made. Hmm. Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups, and the Phoenix in reverse. Five of Pentacles, yeah, okay. So as I flow it through, I'm also seeing this is like stagnation, a stop, a pause even. This is uh, that earth energy as well. Page of Pentacles is it's very, it's it's young energy. Um, it's, doesn't, it's not a very big, um, I don't know. It doesn't cost that much. Uh, I don't know what it is. What else to say? And there's a stagnance. But over here where someone is unbalanced, it's also like that message that you may never get the apology that you're hoping for. Um, maybe someone truly knows someone is unbalanced. So Page of Cups, it could be a child. It could truly be from a child or it is from childhood. Um, this is unapologetic, acting like they don't care. And things haven't changed. So someone hasn't had this rebirth, this phoenix rising. The strength in reverse. Six of cups in reverse. Um, and then we have someone feeling left out in the cold. There could have been a loss of money. Someone pushed away. Someone was in, unsure. So we've got a lot of earth energy over here with the, the four of wands, the home, king of pentacles. Trying to make a decision. A uh, little unsure. Feeling pushed away. There could be a loss of money. A lack of money. Two, five. As I move forward, we got six of pentacles and the death card coming through. Okay. 
So doing what's fair and balanced, trying to get to the pause even, and then moving forward is trying to be give equal to, you know, your children, make sure your bills are paid, be generous, um, keeping being fair with like monetary gifts and things like that. I think this is a Scorpio. I pulled a lot of, um, there may be a huge transformation because uh, the death card is there too. We've got page of cups. Maybe someone isn't is unapologetic or they show no emotion even regarding um, death or it's dealing with a Scorpio, Sagittarian, cusp energy even, or their moon. Transformation here. Okay, the transformation is going to be no longer fighting or competing with this person. I feel like over here, someone just doesn't have the strength. They could have been physical physical altercations um, or feeling like they were competing constantly in competition. Someone does not want to compete. Yeah, they would rather be alone. There is some regret. I think that's some of the regret. Five, 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 four. 85, 65 even. 5-4. A lot of five four. So Taurus energy or uh 54. This is even maybe there is a little bit of regret feeling like they've lost something. They could have lost money on this. They could just feel pushed away. There's a little boredom. But as I move forward with this, then there's no longer, once there is this balanced give and take, then there's no longer feeling anxiety and fear. Yeah, and there's a gift, like there's a gift. So this death, this transformation is giving a new opportunity financially even, a gift, an offer, a job. Um, for some of you, because, you know what I mean, we've got to bring up the Scorpionic, so um, receiving from death benefits even you know or legacy your will or receiving from um someone in your family there this is a big gift this transformation is coming in and doing what's right yeah oh my gosh yeah and being generous and giving they don't want to compete or fight this is opening up the flow of financial stuff and being generous yeah, and four of swords in reverse. So, no way, we got the four, four, four. <laughs> and the five, four again. Wow. Wow. So, four of swords in reverse also shows that there was a time of needing to do healing and rest and, um, and be alone. So, it's interesting. It looks like they're at the same place. I'll show you these cards, but it's getting closer to her. How weird is this? Yeah, we got four of swords and four of cups. These are fascinatingly beautiful. See, I want to kind of bring in these four spirits oracle cards. Look with this. It look like that's what it looks like to me. They're in the forest in this. Um, This would be needing to rest, heal. You know, maybe there is regret or apathy, boredom. Um. But four swords came in reverse. So this is a time of now moving forward after that. It's, it's so weird how it's from a distance here. And then we get real close up. It's the same person there. The same tree. It looks like even behind, they're sitting at the same tree. But you can see a different perspective. From the distance, you can see the water around him, the lake. You can see the other side of the tree. I see this as, yeah, being done with doing the healing that needs to be and resting. Maybe even being generous and giving to, towards helping with someone's, you know, um, medical bills. Even if that need be. You know what I mean? Four of Cups. Hmm. Four of Swords in Reverse. Um, wow. And King of Cups is upright. Okay, I'm letting it flow, okay? So we have a masculine energy being very loving, understanding, very compassionate, not overindulging. But you can see, you know, there is emotion there. You can hear it in their voice. They're, they're loving. This is good energy. No longer feeling stuck and trapped in that tree. In that tree. 
like in a nightmare or in anxiety. So someone felt like they needed some type of a financial thing to help free them from something. Wow. And there's romance there. This is loving, compassionate coming in, spending. And so it's not just about money. Um, oh my gosh, last night they made me, I'm all, they made me. <laughs> the Sagittarius, I've never, so the Applebee song where it's like, I had never heard it before. I'm not, I was like, this is like a country hip hop or something talking about. This is what a fancy night with my girl is at the Applebee's. I don't know. I'm not good at it. <laughs> but I'm just saying, like, buying a, a gifts, beautiful things. But there is also romance and love. And this isn't wands either. This is uh, music and candlelight and roses. You know what I mean? Like, beautiful things. The rose petals and all the candles. Leaving things there for you. Whoa, now we have High Priestess upright. Okay, so I like how this is shifting. That's why I'm letting it flow because the story continues. Wow, no longer feeling stuck in their head or trapped, unsure. Maybe they're hoping for a second chance. Uh, maybe there's a job offer. Maybe there's a bonus even or something like this. But um, I'm showing being generous, opening up the flow and being giving and romantic and loving wow now high priest is up right now intuitively f oh and knowing okay we've got cancer sign too so maybe it's during that cancerian season but i also see 27 or 27 so maybe aquarian energy there's something on this card i like what it's on you high priestess so this is like not maybe this is knowing you shouldn't take some trip like not to move somewhere and maybe even not going into staying home or something. I don't know. Someone intuitively knows something about a trip or a car or not going to be going to it or about a cancer sign. Yeah, not driving. So I got a lot of cancerian. This is not taking the action during this time. Whoa, and a queen of cups. So, whoa, whatever you're dealing with, queen and king of cups. Look at all these cups. Wow. No way. And it's seven, eight. <laughs> okay let's see what this even queen of cups is upright and loving compassionate understanding nine of cups is in reverse so it's like i see this as not wanting to it's like maybe not getting exactly what you were hoping for but also want not wanting to overindulge because nine of cups is supposed to be wish fulfillment but it can be like um overindulging and in, in Things. So maybe someone wasn't getting exactly what they were hoping for. Maybe they were hoping for a trip or a car or something, a move. Um, but the world is in reverse. So it's not completed yet, 221. The sun is in reverse too. So someone is unhappy or doesn't know have clarity on this. Maybe it's not the right timing. The world in reverse, 921. The sun in reverse. Maybe going at dark. Oh, wow. Because we got King of Wands in reverse. I, I don't know why, but I got a lot of Leo energy upside down. The strength, the sun. Both of those are Leo cards, okay? Both upside down, not feeling happy, not feeling strong. You got Six of Cups, so it's about childhood. So Fifth House and Leo energy represents children, romance as well. Um... And we got King of Wands in reverse. So he's like angry. This is someone who might be kind of angry. And this might be a tyrant person here. Nine of Wands. Very defensive. Wounded warrior. Wow. Wow. Not getting what they were hoping for. Nine, nine. So we're pulling in the Virgo too. And 921 specifically, even for some of you Libras, 921. Whoa, and then we got Justice. 911. Pulling a lot of Virgo with that, too, so understand that. This is someone who feels like they have had to battle and, and compete and fight. And they're very defensive. They feel like they're wounded. Hmm. 
and they, that things are not completed yet. We have justice here. So judgment and justice, both upright is good energy, is doing what's fair, what's right, getting a second chance at opportunity. Even judgment upright is not guilty, you know, or, um, and everything is, is, it is in divine order that this it has not been completed yet. 9-11, the harmony. No way, a lot of Virgo. I can't. <laughs> um, whoa. Uh, 11, 9? So, some Scorpio. 10, 11. Yeah, 11, 9? 9, 11. 10, 18. 9, 18? the hermit so as we go over here so this is even the hermit mode right uh, this first first week this first line as i'm flowing it through let's see if you can see 110 52 oh my gosh guys this one's gotten long okay i'm probably gonna finish this up here libras i hope you all have enjoyed this giving some understanding this is the only thing I'm kind of seeing. This um, this person is trying to gain in clarity, right? An enlightenment to get a Virgo on, on your chart or dealing with them, but and doing this forgiveness type work. This King of Wands, Justice is Ten of Swords. Oh wow, <laughs> so Justice is upright. I feel like there was some. This is maybe why this is. There could have been some betrayal, backstabbing, uh. Gossip, Ten of Swords is where this person, and so Nine of Wands, would, I would feel that way as well, feeling completely betrayed and backstabbed. So so it's a completion as well. This is a completion, but it is very painful and hurting. And that's why there's a forgiveness thing, bad memories of the past, Nine, Ten, what do we, yeah. Being betrayed, King of Swords is up, Thinking things logically, communicating King of Swords. That could be you, Libra's masculine, but Aquarian Gemini as well. Um, but this could also be a council person to give you, you know, advice. This is um, detaching from the emotions of it and thinking things out logically and communicating, um, writing it down, seven of ones, and trying to not be defensive, uh, unblocking things. Because we got seven of ones in reverse too. Nine, someone is very defensive. Whoa, because there has been the gossiping, stalking, spying. Someone unblocked someone and then they started looking in, stalking, spying, gossiping, trying to gain information. But they're, they're oh, a star. Trying to be hopeful. See, what they see is that someone is trying to be hopeful or they see someone that is shining or maybe there's gossip about an Aquarian energy. Hmm. There will be justice for whatever this Page of Swords energy in reverse is. So the, things will be healed. This Ten of Swords shows it's a completion of whatever it was. There is hope and healing. Releasing the devil. Yeah. Releasing toxic things. Control. Fear. Addictions. Uh, Capricorn <laughs> even thinking things through logically about letting go of these things see the forgiveness even letting go of these things that hold on to your heart that you feel obsessed with but it could be about the devil like just talking about the devil or talking about demons or addictions sex drugs pornography you know fear religious things the government <laughs> this is releasing releasing things i do see though that someone isn't very happy about it they they don't feel love they need to work on self-love um even regarding the past the hair of font someone so th this one is about what you can commit to and i'm saying the taurus energy yeah, they're talking about someone who's committed to something the emperor in reverse hmm a hanged man seeing a boss right a husband or a boss a masculine energy father so aries towards virgo with that 
and someone getting released or let go of. Yeah, and there's a release. Knight of Swords, yeah. The communication is very rude and cutting and unloving. They're very defensive. Two of Cups in reverse. So it is, it's really interesting because all of these Cups energy are kind of, hmm. This was someone who felt was a soulmate, and regardless, there is, but it feels empty now. It doesn't feel loving, compassionate. There's learning that about even how you're willing to be treated and let others treat you that way. Um, that's not Ace of Swords at the Sea, and that's the truth. Someone wants the truth and clarity about a soulmate and the communication. They won't. I want this action being taken, communicating it. Are you committed or not? The higher fonts also like, you know, like something. This is why it's Taurus energy is what you value, what you're willing to commit yourself to. But there is a spiritual aspect to it, too. So even like a vow, um, you know, marriage. Clarity about this. The communication, Knight of Wands. In reverse, if someone got stopped, released, let go. Ten of Pentacles from a job or work, or uh, they might have lost legacy. Yeah, they might have. There's a huge loss. Nine, ten, ten, nine. They're not. They're not financially stable or single, and there's no drive, no passion to do anything. They don't even attempt to try anything. And they're just stuck in their head. Hmm. Queen of Wands in reverse. Wow. Could be a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarian. Trying to get out of feeling sadness, depression, juggling finances, juggling what to do with a lover, juggling lover. You got the lover and the magician, so that's a Gemini energy too. Trying to help create and someone to help someone make a decision about this unhappiness with family. Someone's emotionally detaching and walking away because they feel unsupported and unloved by family. And I think there was a time of looking at your options on what to do or they were. And this is getting clarity on it. It's about your work. It's about what you're willing to do. Maybe this is about work. Not loving that. And what you're weaving queen of pentacles upright six of wands feeling very victorious with what she's creating but it's and because it's not a heavy burden she's not doing all the work on her own mm. queen of swords in reverse seven of swords in reverse oh so someone is maybe someone has found out that there was lying or deception um stealing even so this one's tricky right because we're talking about the aquarian as well libras and gemini's were there will of fortune is there there's divine timing about good fortune as your final card okay that's what we got wow libras i'm gonna end it there because it's already over an hour uh part two we will get into the sacred geometry of all this the four spirits maybe some angel numbers uh, I was playing a lot of animals, too, for this month. Um, yours is a bit different because um, tarot's been in the third card. But I just decided to jump right in for the Libras. All right. Thank you all. Bye-bye.